Hello students, today we will be going over 2.4c, simplifying expressions, and we will also put it into practice and solve two-step equations, okay? This is page 25 in your blue packet. Here's number 1, um, 7 times x plus 2 parentheses minus 10. So I want you to draw these arches here, and then we're going to use the distributive property. So 7 times x and 7 times 2. 7 times x is 7x plus 7 times 2 is 14 minus 10. Okay, we at, now we combine like terms a plus 14 and a minus 10. There's only one x, so we leave that alone. So 14 minus 10 is 4. And we're done. Okay, now we go on to number 4. If you want to pause and try and do 2 and 3, if not, we jump to 4 here. And we use distributive property. 9 times v is 9v minus 9 times 10 is 90 minus 4v. Now we have v's, so we have to comp combine 9v minus 4v, and that's going to be 5v minus 90. We leave the 90 alone because it doesn't have any v's. So you only combine like terms. V's are like terms. The 14 and a 10 are like terms, and you leave the other one alone. Okay, next we go on to 5, and we're going to multiply these. 2 plus 6 times negative 8 is negative 48y, and then 6 times 7 is 42. Now we combine like terms, 2 and negative 42. This is the only y, so we leave it alone, negative 48y, and minus 42 plus 2. If there's nothing in front, it's positive. So negative 42 plus 2, negative 40. It's a battle, so we subtract. And you're done. Okay. Next, we go on to number 8, and it's a little bit of a trickster here. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. Negative 2 times negative 10x is positive 20x. And then this has a minus sign in front with nothing else. So it's like a negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x, and a negative 1 times positive 10 is a negative 10. So we combine these two, and I'm going to put, put them with their signs in front, and then we're going to combine a negative 16 and a negative 10. So in general, you want to put the ones with the variable first, and then just a number by itself second. So we're going to add 20x minus 2x and get 18x. Negative 16 and a negative 10 is minus 26. And we're done. Okay. Now we're going to go on to this one, 15. 10 times 1 is 10, plus 10 times 10m is 100m. And this, make sure you know this is a negative 6 times 5 negative 30, negative 6 times negative n is plus 6m. This is where a lot of students make mistakes. Always make sure you carry the sign in front with it. Now we're going to combine our m's. 100m and 6m is 106m. 10 minus 30 is minus 20. And there you have it. Okay. All right, you can get the rest of it on this page. We're going to go on to page 26, the next page. Oops, sorry. Page 26, we're going to practice and solve some of these equations. Okay. So we're going to write a line down the equal sign. There's no parentheses, so we can do order of operations backwards. So you want to add or subtract first. Here's your variable. Here's where the plus sign is, so we want to subtract 2. Again, you're trying to isolate the variable right here, minus 2 on both sides. And again, you want to make that t. So then we go x over 2, bringing this down. This goes away, and it equals 7. This is x divided by 2, so we do the inverse operation, multiply by 2. So x equals 14. If you wanted to check that, 14 over 2 is 7. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9, and you've checked it. Okay. Um, 
Let's go on to 19 over here. Draw a line down the equal sign. There's our variable. Again, there's no parentheses, so we go straight to add or subtract. There's my subtraction sign, so I'm going plus 6 on both sides. Now, this is times x, inverse operation, divide. You buy, divide by the number in front of x. And we're done. Now let's go ahead and go over here to 20, line down the equal sign. Okay, there's no parentheses, so we got to add or subtract. This is where our variable is, so this is where we want to do our work. So we don't put plus 2, we're going to put minus 6 because we get rid of what's around the variable. Now it's b divided by 2, so we do the inverse operation, multiplication, multiply by 2. 2 times negative 8. There you go. Now I'm going to jump down to a couple at the bottom. You have to think a little bit deeper. 10v plus 2v, those are like terms, so we're going to combine them first. I'm going to put the line down here. 10 plus 2 is 12v equals 48. Divide by what's in front of v. v equals 4. Okay, next we're going to do a word problem, number 31. A number divided by 24, so a number is going to be x, so a number divided by 24, whoops, and subtracted by 11, is negative 12. Find the number. Okay, so here's where my variable is. We want to get rid of stuff around here. There's no parentheses, so we're going to go ahead and do add first. Oh, I forgot my line down the equal sign. My bad. So now I'm going to write it over here because I'm running out of room. x over 24. This goes away. Equals negative 1. So then this is divide, multiply by 24, multiply by 24. So you can either put the dot or put it parentheses. This cancels that out, so we get x equals negative 24. And we're done. Okay, students, you can do the rest of this. You rock.